Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, I'm down here in second main at Barno's Little Sicily. I know I've already done one Barno's review, the one out by Bowman Field, which was the original, but the original owner, I've been told, owns this one down here by the Second Street Bridge. As you see, it's across the street from the Yum Center. It's like right down here in the middle of the heart of downtown. So this is like right in the middle of the action. And it's actually down in the basement. It's kind of a cool atmosphere. Pan over there, Mary, show like uh, there's like tables down there. You come out like a little patio in the basement. But anyway, pretty cool. You walk down into it. And I've been here a couple times uh, before concerts and the food's really good here. So uh, we're, we're here for a cheerleading competition. We got some time to kill. So Mary and I walk down here and we're gonna go ahead and review this bear note. So let's go on in. All right, as I said, you step down into the basement. I wanna kind of take a look around here. As you come in the main room, this is the only room that I've ever been in before, which is the main bar room. And I've never been to the other half, which I've walked through earlier. And it looks really interesting. I'm glad I came here today so I can show you what all's here. I'm going down in the basement basement, which I was told is a party room. Has some tables. Wow, this is like going back in time, like you're going into Al Capone's secret hideout or something. But anyway, this is for uh, private parties and probably if they have overflow here, a really cool atmosphere got a lot of cool sports posters on the wall local athletes look at there howard snellenberger's old jersey mark clayton yeah otis wilson yeah that's pretty cool all right i'm going to show you the other half of it uh the upstairs and then as you come up the steps you can either go left in the main bar or go right and here's another section, which I'm in luck today because it's closed until they get busier later. But it has a second bar, and you see they got the really cool booths. And, of course, more local jerseys. Uh, Phil Sims, old jersey. Donovan Mitchell, artist Gilmore. Yeah, really cool. Johnny Unitas. And look, it's a wraparound bar, actually. It goes through to the other front room. Oh, yeah. This is really neat over here. I didn't even know that this was really over here. Teddy Bridgewater, Joe Jacoby, Lamar Jackson, Dion Branch. And this door overlooks the troll pub that's down there. But anyway, very cool. It's like uh, old Louisville feel down here. I really like this front bar too. Look how long it goes down there. And the brick architecture of this building is very cool. I mean, this, this building's gotta be at least 150 years old. But very cool bar, very cool decor great example of old brick architecture in downtown louisville so food will be coming up here in just a second so mary what do you think about the place so far the decor and everything here no, before the food gets here I mean, and even look here in our booth you look up here it's got different U of L memorabilia very interesting then of course if you can get up above, that's the intersection where the Second Street Bridge is there. So it's really neat. I'm kind of, I'm really impressed with the atmosphere here. All right, Mary's got the ham and cheese, which believe it or not, I know it's just a ham and cheese, but Berno's is known for their hoagie sandwiches and they're also their ham and cheese. Hi there, thank you. You're very welcome. So Mary's gonna get that put together and uh we're gonna check that out i'm gonna go ahead and try her sandwich before i start in on mine you see there it's got a nice french bread hoagie bun grilled oh 
Oh. And it comes with uh, pizza sauce on it. That's different. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting mayonnaise. But really good. And as I said, that bread. Really good bread. And she got the crinkle cut fries. All right, now I'm gonna be right back and start in on mine. So, if you refer back to my first uh, Baranos video at Bowman Field, I pretty much just highlighted the pizza, uh, a couple appetizers, breadsticks, but I wanted to do something different. I've actually never had their pasta before. They have spaghetti or uh, penne pasta, and I got it with the sausage links, the homemade sausage links here which is underneath this uh, homemade marinara sauce. And I got the salad. That's a nice looking, that's a nice looking uh, salad there. It's got the red onion, tomato, cucumbers, bacon. And I got the creamy Italian, which looks really good. All right, so some good looking garlic bread here too. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try with the, the sausage. Oh yeah, that sausage definitely got a nice zest to it. See there? It's uh, link sausage, but it's cut in slices, which is good. They saved me the trouble of having to slice it. Sauce has a good tangy sweetness to it. Very good. Let's try the garlic bread. crunchy but on the one side of it then it's got the good uh, butter and garlic plenty of good garlicky taste and I'm gonna try my salad I like that they have red onion on there red onion is my favorite on salad all right top notch all right I'm gonna work on some of this. And by the way, creamy Italian dressing is very good. I've never had creamy Italian. So, pleasant surprise there too. All right, be back in just a minute. I'm gonna show you one more thing before we get out of here. So, you know it wouldn't be proper to come here without getting the pizza. So I got a small Big Mama's pizza, which I'm gonna take a piece here, but I'm taking it to go, so don't think I'm a total hog gonna eat all the today pasta salad and the whole pizza no I'm gonna keep it real I'm gonna take Melissa and Mackenzie some over at the convention center look at that I got the combination uh, it's got like three kinds of meats and vegetables I'll tell you what I like most about Barrow's pizza is that cracker crust. You see how thin that is? Love the crust. And they got, they got a good tangy sauce too. And of course they use whole milk mozzarella, which they brown the cheese over the top. I like that. All right, I'll give you some closing thoughts in just a minute as we leave. Be back in a minute. Everything was great. This is definitely a place that you want to bring a date, especially if you're down here at the Yum Center for a concert or just downtown for anything. Bring your girlfriend, your wife down here. The atmosphere is cozy. Uh, it's dark, you know, with a really uh, good ambience. But anyway, with that said, y'all don't know nothing about this bare nose by the bridge. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. Always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.